Good morning. <sighs> Today we're in the city of Harrisonburg and we're going to go look at some history. And I don't have any, I don't go to school. You don't have to go to what? I don't have to go to school today. It was school, not school. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. We don't have school today. Scar, scar. Anyway, we're going to the, <laughs> we're going to downtown Harrisonburg to check out some history, maybe get some popcorn. And I guess I have to go catch him now because he's somewhere else. Way over there. All right. Finn. Wait. I'm not trying to get political or divisive or anything. History often is political and divisive by its very nature. That's what history is. It tells us of our conflicts and problems. Our, some of our racist past and that's what history does. That's why we study history, to learn these things. Well, this spot right here is once the site of an old stone jail. And around the old stone jail, prior to the start of the Civil War, is the center of African American life in Harrisonburg. This is where a large neighborhood of freed men and women lived. Now, as you can see, none of these houses are built before the start of the Civil War. This one, as you can see, is made of rock-faced concrete block, which puts it, oh, we can date that. 1820, 1930, maybe even 1880, anywhere between 1880 and 1920, I'd say it's a safe bet, because rock-faced concrete block, you could order from a Sears catalog. You'd order a press, and then you'd stamp out concrete blocks to make, to build houses out of, or buildings. It's everywhere, literally everywhere. One day we'll go walk around and take a look at a lot of different rock face concrete block houses, but not today. Um, there's a church, Otterbein United Methodist over here. And then all this is parking lot. There's the seed company, which has been there for a long time. But prior to the seed company being there, it's part of the Jail Hill is what they called it. And this is Route 33. When they expanded Route 33, they took some of Jail Hill. They ran these railroad tracks through here, which also destroyed some of Jail Hill. And then all the houses that were here are all gone. How do I know all this? There's no signs. There's nothing to denote that anything was ever here. Besides these church, this church, and these buildings that are here. It's because historians don't just rely on the history textbooks of their class. They get out there and they do the work. They look at records, they look at old maps. They look at the stuff that people don't look at every day. And they find the stories that are hidden. And that's what historians do. They look for the history that is hidden. 
They look for what isn't there. And this is a story that isn't there. But should be. This isn't the first time or the last time that African American history is covered up by cities across the country. I'm not trying to be divisive or political, but history is divisive and political. So now we're in Court Square, checking out the history of the Big Spring. Here in the corner of the first book. Don't come here between nine and seven. Mm. Don't, don't do it. What is it, Finn? Uh, don't put your hands in it. Yuck. Yuck. No, yuck. <laughs> See, it says do not drink water. Get your shirts all wet. I got a rain jacket. Hey. That's not a rain jacket. You silly old thing. Yeah. All right, let's not play in the water, okay? Yee. Some of the history here is that soldiers in the Civil War would come here and get drinks of water. Don't know how true that is, but okay. Come on, Finn, let's do it. Come on, Finn. Our anchor in time. Thanks, Finn. Here, Marquis of Rockingham. <laughs> what are you doing, me ball? Thomas Harrison. That's questionable. Um, I shot him. Hey, go look at geocache. There's no geocache up there. Um, no, that's garbage. Garbage. It's a long way up there. What are you doing? Well, I'm just in the water. We have to get on the same steps as you do. Oh no! I got wet on the road. Justin could fix it for you. Got you, got you, got you, got you. What is that? What do you think of those cats, Finn? And look at that ball. Hmm. What do you think of those kittens? Hey, little kitty. Hey. Oh, that one look evil, Daddy. That one look evil, Daddy. It's evil. Him look evil. He look so mad. What is it? What are the other ones doing? I don't know. Other ones climbing up there, trying to climb up. Hi, little kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, little kitty. 
Think, Finn. I went to Clementine's once a long, long time ago, and it was not called Clementine's. I saw the Antibalas Afrobeat Orchestra and Soldiers of Ja Army. He wanted to sit down. In front of us is the Hardest D. Higgins house, which is our next location on this geocaching adventure lab we're checking out. What are you doing, meatball? <laughs> what are you doing, meatball? Make sure I don't fall down, okay? I think you need to make sure you don't fall down. Right? It's hard to see Higgins' house again in the front. Up the head is a road. Up the head is a road. Up. Yeah. It's not a sewer. <laughs> it's a fountain. No, come here. It's not a sewer. Oh, yeah. I found a rabbit. Harrisonburg City Hall, the old building and the new building. Here on this corner is the Thomas Harrison House, which new archaeological evidence, some scholarship on it. It's proven that it's not Thomas Harrison's house. History doesn't change. Just found out that things are right and wrong. Bailey thought was that this was Thomas Harrison's house, and it turns out it's not. It's over here. Now it's thought to be some association with the Artisty Higgins house. Not Thomas Harrison's house at all. Garbage. What is it, Meatball? I see garbage. Garbage? Always seeing garbage. Now we're gonna go get some popcorn from Shirley's. What? Yeah, we're getting some popcorn. Why not? Yes. I have pink lemonade. What else did we get? Uh, popcorn. We have, um, chemical. I don't know what it tastes like, but that's what we got. And popcorn ball. It's green. 
Mm. Looks like a Osage orange. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, root beer what it tastes like. Root beer tastes like root beer. Why? Because that's what it tastes like. What it really tastes like. It really tastes like root beer. Are you sure? I'm sure. Uh, uh, what does that taste like? A lot. It tastes like a lot? Quiet. You can taste that one when you want. Oh, no. But be careful. Tastes like crunch berries. It's the wee one. A red one? Tastes like crunch berries. Mm -hmm. They're good fun. That tastes better. So good. It's pretty good. I like the color. It's another example of hidden history. Cover the stuff up. This makes it hurt worse. <laughs> you think we're gonna find some water over here? No, it's a bridge. The bridge doesn't go over the water, it goes over the train tracks. They're not bad. Well, sorry. What do you want me to tell you? Still not fair. Is it still not fair? There's water right there. There's ducks. Oh, I missed it. How did you miss it? Okay. What are you doing? You can't get down there. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Your shoe's gonna fall off and then you'll have to go down there and get it. How? I don't know. Come on, you goofball. Relic of the past. No more dittons. Let's go, Finn. I blame. No way. I blame everything except heights. <clears throat> I'm going to show you, sure. You don't like heights? The heights are so scary. Yeah, I'm going to barely roll off and die. Here we go. Across the wood bridge. I don't think it's half as scary if we walk across it. I think it's only scary when we drive across it. Bridge, see, I don't, don't lean. Hey, yeah, it's pretty scary. Stop hanging through the railings. <laughs> yeah, I look down yeah, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, I look down it. Then you make it scary for me. And my insides go, whoop, 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 whoop. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, every time I look down, it's kind of scary. It's definitely scary. Come on, Finn. I'm going to watch a train. I don't see a train. I hear it. Choo-choo train! There is no choo-choo train. Come on, you goofy. See if this car drives across it. Then you'll see how scary it is. What do you think? What do you think, Finn? Yes, you ever seen a You're driving across it, Finn. Watch it. Oh. God, it's 
is scary. <laughs> doing up there now that you're up there crawling i thought you were brave yep i see those red bugs they're gonna eat you Bro, are, what are the red bugs called those are called fin eater bugs no they like meatballs no oh yes they do i only turn real meat yeah, not they, human. They don't. <laughs> I'm gonna see that in the meantime. How brave are you? Dad, you remember when I got that printer out? I was brave and scared. And I was. Paradise. Well, we did it. Got some popcorn. Saw some history. Didn't get run over. We, we don't want to die. Stuff is really isn't that that great, Mine? but it's uh, I can't stop eating it. It's so good. Well, not but really. Color is a, a yellow one is tastes really good. I love that. That was a pretty fun adventure. What do you think? Thanks mm -hmm. for coming along. Double thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and especially if you're Taiko Watiti. And with all that other stuff. Okay, guys. And all that other stuff. And all that other stuff. Where all, all that other stuff. Where all the other stuff will be. Where do you think it's gonna be? Hmm? Where do you want it to be? What do I want it to be? No, where do you want it to be on the phone? Well, I want it to be? Oh, maybe you're right there. <laughs> Alright. That's gonna do it for today. Thanks for coming along. See you on the next adventure. See ya.